This video is for guys running the 9503 and the 7200BX. I'm going to show you how to have multiple gyro gains and multiple head speeds using just the flight mode switch. Start by going to the system menu. Go to device select and set it just like this. With gear set to governor and aux 2 set to gyro. If you don't have gyro sense set to auto, you won't be able to select gyro for aux 2. I do have throttle hold set up. Now let's go to the governor. This is where you'll set your gyro gains. You can put any numbers between negative 100 and positive 100. Negative numbers are rate mode and positive numbers are for heading hold. I would highly suggest that you set your normal to about minus 35 so you can adjust your tail rotor control rod in rate mode. If you don't know what I mean, watch Gyro Basics Part 2. You can change the gain without switching to that particular flight mode, but in order to see the gain change on the 7200BX, you have to be in that mode. Normally, your highest gain will be in normal mode because that's where you have the lowest head speed. Stunt 1 might have a slightly lower gain, and Stunt 2 lower yet. I like to run a really high gain in heading old. Now let's work on the governor. Go to the gyro sense screen. If you haven't been to this screen before, all the values will be set to 50. This video is showing the Multigov Pro, so I set the values to 150 and 0. Your governor might be different, so study your manual. You might want to set the values to something like 75, 80, and 85. That just depends on the governor. Most governors shut off when you go into throttle hold. If yours doesn't, you can set one switch position so the governor shuts off. If you do that, you only have two head speeds available, but that's not the end of the world. Let's take a look at the monitor screen and see what all this looks like. I hope this video helps. If you like it, please subscribe. I'm sorry Mickey couldn't be here today. He was attending a funeral for one of his distant cousins in Boston.